2021 certainly was a blur. Close to 35 new cars launched in the market and this included everything from entry-level cars to micro SUVs. Then there were the compacts too, the mid-sizers and of course the luxury segment as well. 2021 was all about EV or electric vehicle. Lots of announcements from different car makers and luckily a lot of cars actually driving into the market too. We tracked all of that for you with our Push to Plug-in initiative. You saw lots of stories about electrics from us this year. One of the cars that came in, of course, was the Jaguar I-Pace. We also got a whole bunch from Audi. The e-tron, the e-tron Sportback, the e-tron GT, the RS e-tron GT, the more powerful one, and its cousin, the Porsche Taycan. All of them are here. We already had a Mercedes EQC last year, remember? So it was time for BMW to really get in on the act. That happened close to the end of the year. The iX has been unveiled, it launches very soon. You've also got the i4 coming. There's also going to be the electric mini. So lots of action. And uh, of course, luckily also at the mass end, we're starting to see some murmurs there. We also drove a lot of those EVs this year and got you a lot of exclusives. Cars like the Ionic 5 from Hyundai and its cousin, the EV6 from uh, Kia. If you haven't read or watched those reviews, well, you can on carandbike.com or on our YouTube channel. And for all of us at Car and Bike, it was a year of exclusives. We exclusively drove the Mercedes AMG GLA 35, the Audi S5 and RS e-tron GT, among some of the other electrics that I just spoke about. It was the year where we brought you more exclusive content than ever before. Car makers have already charted out a plan for EVs in India. Hyundai plans to bring six electric vehicles by 2028. MG Motor India will launch an electric vehicle between the 10 and 15 lakh rupee price band and Audi is also launching more electrics in India. So it's no surprise that states like Maharashtra Delhi, Rajasthan and Goa have come up with a comprehensive plan for faster adoption of electric vehicles in the country. So better incentives, charging infrastructure and more are at the top of the agenda. Another big step taken by the central government was the long-awaited introduction of the scrappage policy. The policy will see older vehicles being phased out to make way for new ones and there will be incentives provided by the government here too. In fact, there are plans of having 70 scrapping centers by 2026 across the country and Mahindra and Tata Motors have already begun work on theirs. However, the rollout of the plan and the clarity of those incentives have still not been clearly announced, so we eagerly wait to know more. The one thing that has skyrocketed in 2021 has been the price of fuel and the rates for petrol have gone up by 36 rupees per litre while diesel prices have seen a hike of 26 and a half rupees per litre over the past 18 months. While the price has stabilised for now, we don't know what the new year has in store. Now 2021 saw a huge jump in demand. Once again, the buyers were back but demand wasn't the problem, it was supply because, well, you had the semiconductor shortage, remember? That caused a huge issue in terms of uh, not really allowing the industry to meet that demand. So, even some of the not-so-popular cars started to suddenly sell really well because, well, initially that's all that was available. Now, nothing's available off the shelf. You've got to wait. Cars like this one, really popular, the Hyundai Creta, continues to be a bestseller. In some variants, the waiting has gone to eight months, even 11 months. The auto manufacturers needed some boost by the government and that came in the form of production-linked incentives or the PLI scheme. So yes, the auto industry received support during these trying times. And don't forget that there's a 20-year roadmap charted out for companies to also facilitate the manufacturing of semiconductors or chipsets here in India. Tata Motors has already announced plans to make semiconductors in India and are in talks with three states to invest about $300 million to set up a plant. Of course, key players like Kia are watching the situation closely to make an informed decision 
about whether or not to source semiconductors here in the country or make them themselves. Now let's talk about all the launches. So many cars took center stage. New generation models or facelifts, they were all there and mostly everyone focused big on tech. We saw everything from ADAS to connected car features become part of the package. We even saw Alexa come to the car and in the case of this one, we had a dedicated virtual assistant. And on top of this, we saw voice commands become more sophisticated and pervasive. This year, we saw the world of gadgets and cars collide, but in a good way. Don't forget the crazy number of world premieres we've had in India this year. The Škoda Kushak was the first, followed by the Hyundai Alcazar, Volkswagen's Tygoon, the Škoda Slavia, and now even the Kia Karenz. One of the trending topics in 2021 was safety. And that was a closely watched space, not just by us, but by you, the consumer. In continuation to its Safer Cars for India program, the Global NCAP tested the Tata Tigor EV, the Renault Triber, the Tata Punch, and finally the Mahindra XUV700 this year. And all four cars fared really well. While the Tigor EV and the Triber scored a four-star safety rating, the Tata Punch and the Mahindra XUV700 took home five stars. This shows us how safety is seriously being considered by some of the manufacturers in India. Car and Bike, being a flag bearer of safety, welcomed this with open arms. It was great to see another mass market electric from Tata Motors. Can't wait to see that space hot up. But there was also some bad news this year. Well, we will say goodbye to the car that's next to me. In fact, it's not just this, but it's a range of made in India Ford vehicles that we'll bid adieu to. Right from the Figo, this, the Aspire, well, the Freestyle, the Endeavor, and even the Echo Sport. So yes, we will say goodbye to all of these. But the brand stays in India and it's not going away. So we will get CBU units like the Mustang mach -E and even the pickup range of the company. But still, we will miss the engines and the Made in India models by Ford India. So it's not quite goodbye like GM, but yes, Ford's mass models will be missed by many. Now, while the industry set its own benchmarks, car and bike also had its own. Unique visitors on carandbike.com crossed the 28 million per month mark. And that is all thanks to the love showered by all of you on us. And talking about great heights, well, it could not get higher than this when we took this car, the XUV700, to the world's highest motorable road at Umlingla. And 2021 will always be special. It's the year that CNB, the car and bike show, crossed 900 episodes, a milestone and a record for Indian television. Thank you so much for all the love, the messages, the congratulations that poured in from all of you. And also a whole lot of special people who sent in their messages and wishes too. And we've saved up an extremely special one for today. Hey Siddharth, congratulations on completing 900 episodes of your show. Uh, I know it's taken you 18 long years to get to this landmark. Uh, being a car enthusiast myself, I have watched your show, The Car and Bike Show. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I want to wish you the very best in life and above all, good health. Take care. Good luck. There's a lot to look forward to in 2022. We'll have the compact sedans from Škoda and Volkswagen, then the Karenz MPV from Kia, and I guess the Audi Q7 facelift will probably be the first launch of the new year. A lot to look forward to, and there's a bunch of new launches expected in the EV space too. Don't forget the BMW iX goes on the road. You've also got the i4 and the electric from Mini. 
and the second Hyundai EV that will also drive in. BMW will also bring us the M4 Competition X Drive. And then there's the Honda BRV to look forward to besides the new Scorpio. So hold on to your seats and strap in with your seatbelts on. It's going to be a fantastic 2022.